Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll show you how to connect an AWS EC2 instance in a private subnet using OpenVPN software. So, you need a prerequisites of how to connect. So, you need one VPC, one private subnet, and one public subnet, and one router table, one NAT gateway, and internet gateway. And the VPN software application, you need to install it from marketplace. And one EC2 instance to connect in private subnet, one security group to allow traffic. So let's dive into this and this is the AWS architecture diagram which I have made with Doda Tiger tool. So this is AWS account, this is the VPC in Mumbai region, in public subnet and private subnet. Public subnet is for uh, installing the open VPN software in the public subnet and one internet gateway is attached to public subnet and one EC2 instance in private subnet which is connected to NAT gateway with the use of elastic IP address from so we need to connect from my local machine or laptop, you need to connect to the internet and you need to go route to the internet gateway to AWS account. So let's connect how to do this. Let's create a VPC. For the first step, we need to create a VPC in one region. Go to VPC. Create a VPC. My NAT gateway. Slash 16 is my IP, IPv4 CID to create a VPC. This is my VPC. Created two subnets. One is for public subnet, one is for private subnet. So here I will go with public subnet as 1A 10.80.100.0 slash 24 it is in public subnet. And I will create a second one, private subnet. Subnet. Gateway. I will create in one year. This is for 10.80.200.0. This last 24 is for NAT gateway, private subnet. So let's verify it is an 80.100 and it is 80.200. Create a submit. So the step 2 is completed and the third step is to create a route table. Create a route table. Your own VPC, my NAT gateway VPC, create a routable. Go to routables and create one more routable for the public subnet. IDW public routable. Select your own VPC, create a routable. Choose the routables. Attach the internet gateway to the public road table and attach the NAT gateway to the private road table. I will give it private road okay. table. So let's go and uh, finish the fourth step. Create one NAT gateway and one internet gateway. Go to the internet gateway. Create a NAT gateway. IGW. Uh, give it a As a naming convention, I will go with IGW test. Create an internet gateway. Attach to your own VPC. This is my VPC. I have attached. Go to the route tables. Click on public route table. Click on subnet associations. Edit subnet associations. Choose the public subnet for the route table association. Save. Go to the NAT gateway private route table. Go to the subnet associations, edit, choose the private subnet for the private route table. So go to the internet gateway route table and check the routes. If it is 0.0, .0 it should go to the internet gateway. This is my internet gateway for the route table. Attached. Go to the NAT gateway private route table. 
click on routes, edit routes, add route. I have not created a NAT gateway, so you need to go to NAT gateway. One is in failed state. No need. Uh, while creating a NAT gateway, you should be aware of that uh, it is very costly to use NAT gateway in the AWS. So. to submit which is user for private submit and give it it should be in the public and let's go and create an elastic ip which is user for uh, nat so go to the elastic ips allocate an elastic ip add a tag Go to the NAT gateway while creating. So use your elastic IP. Go back. Cancel. Create an NAT gateway. Copy. This is my NAT gateway elastic IP address, which is not associated to any VPC. So I have allocated elastic IP to my NAT gateway. Create an NAT gateway. Select your subnet. Which is private subnet. Create NAT gateway. So we have attached internet gateway and NAT gateway for each subnet. Let's try to go to the route table and check the connection for the private route table. Go to the routes. Edit routes. If it is 0.0, .0 it should go to the NAT gateway. This is my NAT gateway, save changes. So up to now we have completed here. So try to launch an ECD instance in private subnet. Launch an ECD instance. My private server. the Amazon Linux 2 which is kernel updated 5.10 so the t2 dot micro so cost optimization select your key pair my key pair is Tharun this is the network settings choose your own VPC and it should be in public subnet private subnet sorry and no need to assign a public IP for that uh, newly launched uh, private server Access anywhere. GP3 for cost optimization storage. Advanced details. Choose the IAM instance profile for uh, installing the software package of SSM agent. And we click on EC, launch EC2 instance. Now it is launched. So we have launched in a an EC2 instance in private subnet. Check the connectivity from the internet. Let's try to connect this machine. It is in running. Check the private IPv4 address. Copy paste. Authentication. Which is in private subnet or you need to connect to server. So the, the connection is not able to establish. You have to do is launch an VPN software application and public submit. So up to here, we have created one EC2 instance in private subnet. We have created an NAT gateway attachment to the private subnet with the Elastic IP and internet gateway is attached to the public subnet. And we need to configure a VPN application software in a public subnet to get the access using the VPN application. You try to connect uh, from public to the private subnet server. This is where the scenario stands. Up 
go to the link space. Go to the marketplace. Type open VPN. So this is the open VPN access server, which is a third party application server, and it will allow only two concurrent connections at a time. .micro instance type is 0.012 dollar per hour if you use this uh, open VPN access hour click on continue choose the instance type family 2t2.micro is enough for me instance details choose your own VPC it should be in the public subnet which is attached with the internet gateway choose the auto and public IP IAM role and that's it next storage gp3 for cost optimization you can uh, create a kms for encryption also create a tags open vpn config security group this is the security group for the open vpn access is my existing key pair launch your key instance and public submit so we have launched an VPN software application from marketplace in the public submit and we need to configure VPN settings in the VPN machine so this is where you can download the VPN software application Uh, use of this downloads of the download application you need to connect the private submit from public submit in the AWS so we have launched this open VPN software in the public submit this is the open VPN machine try to connect this machine So this is where you have connected to the public submit server and you need to do the configuration settings of the VPN settings in the machine, open VPN server. So this is where you can follow. Let me change the font. Type open VPN as so it will authenticate with the public IP address. So it is asking for agreement, license agreement. Yes, you need to enter uh, for default. It is in standby mode or you need to take backup. Enter the default ports, enter the 943 to connect the CPU port and the router port. DNS traffic authentication. Submit server admin UI. If you have any activation key to enable more licenses, you can give the activation key here for initializing the open VPN. This is the admin URL to connect this open VPN software. Nine four three is the default port. So you need to change the password to connect. Pass WD open. password has been reset successfully try to connect this is where you can connect your click on admin type the 
Go to the admin page. So this is the license agreement. This is the permissions user and everything here. So give the username. So we have downloaded the application. I have downloaded the application from the internet. This is my open you can connect software from this link. And create a new user password to connect to open you can. The password and it is save settings. So the user permissions has been changed. Go to logout. So try to configure your uh, OpenVPN profile. Copy here at the port 943, or else you can uh, download the OVPN profile and you can import here. Accept the host certificate. Username Taro. The password 943 is the port number. Accept the certificate. So this is my open VPN profile. It has been created. Let's try to connect. This is where OpenVPN has been connected to our private server. <coughs> so let's go to the routes. So if you see here, Internet Gateway is attached to the open world, to the public subnet, whereas NAT Gateway private subnet is attached to the routes of open to world in the NAT gateway. So with the use of open VPN software, we are trying to connect IEC to machine in the private subnet. So this is my NAT gateway server. No, 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 this one, private server. This is my private IPv4. I have connected to open VPN. Now let's try to connect the private server. Copy the public IP. Sorry, the private IP authentication. Click on the browse. Open. Accept. Easy to hyphen user is the username to connect. Go to admin profile. Oh, sorry, it is. Sorry. Click on the password. PWD is the current user of the machine. It doesn't work in directly. This is the private server where I have connected. Which is in public subnet. So I hope you have understood the dark text of the diagram. So I am connecting from my laptop to the internet. So it is going to connect to an internet gateway. The VPN software application is installed in a public subnet which is having access. So this is my public IP software application. And with the use of our elastic IP address, we have given to the NAT gateway. So with the NAT gateway, we are connecting the, to the private server. So the, the private NAT gateway is attached to the public, public subnet. So it is connecting automatically to private subnet. This is where the route will traffic traffic will allow from internet to internet gateway and internet gateway to the open VPN. And after that open VPN to NAT gateway, NAT gateway will go to the private server. This is how it works. So try to connect the ECT instances in the open VPN software. We have Check the open VPN software and we have connected the easy instance which is in private subnet submit. So that's it guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, subscribe and share the video for more videos.